Hey guys, James here with Homebrew Happy Hour. I've got a treat for you today. We've got an unboxing. I think that's our first unboxing, isn't it? And uh, it's a pretty cool product. Y'all all know how big a fan I am on the grandfather. This is the G40. And this is basically a 10 gallon all-in-one grandfather. It's got the same features as the original with the Wi-Fi connect to an app. This is awesome because if you're like me, five gallon batches of beer is just not enough. So let's open this sucker up and take a look. Oh, you know, one thing I did want to show you is there's a, this is 220 only. You can't imagine trying to heat up 110 with this volume of wort. So it is 220 only. Now, that being said, what's cool is they've included a chart on the back to help you find your correct adapter from your wall to the plug on this. So the plug looks, it honestly, if you just, if I just held it up, it looks like a regular 110 plug, but on the end, one of the connect, one of the terminals is sideways. A lot of times you'll see these in uh, 220 air conditioning window units. That's the kind of plug that's on it. It gives you the, the style and type. So you can identify it on your wall, like if you're gonna be borrowing your dryer connection or an oven connection, you'll know which, which style of plug you have and you can go to Amazon and you can get the correct adapter or wherever. We, we looked on Amazon, they were everywhere. Okay, so. As you can see, it's big and it's heavy. Um, one thing I noticed, I never knew this before, it's got a three year warranty, how cool is that? There's some pretty pretty sophisticated electronics in the control unit, so that's peace of mind right there. Okay, now I'm gonna get this down on the floor so we can see what's in it. Of course you get the Quick start guide, and let's see. It's got the, the, the plug nomenclature on the front, and I'm sure it gives you how to pre-assemble the unit. Pretty straightforward, really don't have to go through all of it. If, you, if you're home brewing on all-in-ones, you'll know how to do that. Uh, wow, look at that. That's a huge lid. Compare that to a, a regular five gallon, the regular grandfather, that's massive. I like how they pack this. There's little chance of shipment damage because they've really done their homework. That's logistically, that's a lot of work. Okay. They've also, if you want to pan down here, Josh, you can see, look how they packed the sides so the unit there's very little movement. Let's see what this is. Okay, looks like a faucet adapter and a quick connect. And this would go, I, th I think this is the feed from your faucet to possibly your cooler or just a straight tap from your faucet. And then of course uh, you, they include a spare parts bag and that's gonna have probably O-rings and yeah. Anything that you might possibly lose or mess up, that's good. Cause I don't remember these in the uh, original grandfather. They were probably there, but that was years ago. Also like that they've completely covered the unit in this fabric bag. And it just goes to show if you pack it well, the chances of when they ship it having any damage is very slim. I like that. Okay, we've got another hardware box. 
Let's see what this is. Oh, looky here. Controller. That's quite a bit smaller than what the original grandfather had. I like that. other pieces down in here. No, it looks like just packing. And you can see, wow. You, you have an idea what that is? That's the handle to pick the basket up. And I like that they gave you a, a notch because that's a lot of weight. If you're doing 10 gallon batches of beer, that grain bill is gonna be 20 pounds of grain at least. And when it gets wet, that's a lot of weight. So. Wow, look how big it is. It's huge. I was curious, when I found out about this, this bigger all-in-one, I was wanting to know if possibly they made the cooler bigger. But it doesn't look, I'm sure it is, but just looking at it, it doesn't look like it's much bigger than the one that comes on the, the regular grandfather. But let's take a look. say that's about the same size, wouldn't you, Josh? Mm -hmm. And they work really well. You know, provided you don't have 100 degree tap water. Okay, look at this. Let's pull this handle back out. Look at that basket. And anybody that's had or used an all-in-one knows that you are you have the ability to rinse the basket, the grains in the basket. So it's got these little feet that hold on. If you look inside, it's got a, it's got a, whole, a retainer, just like the original grandfather does. And uh, you can actually, I don't know if you can take that out or not without having to remove that. It looks like it's, it's fixed in there. Uh, I'll have to work on that. But anyway, you just rotate the basket and there it is. Here's another cool thing about the G40. If you look right here, you can pull the basket out. And you know what else is cool? Anybody that's got a grandfather, you can, you can attest to this. There's no silicone seal around the, the basket bottom. I love that because anybody that's tried to put that in without it rolling off, it's a pain in the, you know what? So it, it's a big basket. Another thing I like too, you notice it's got perforations around the bottom, uh, whereas the original one, I don't, the new versions might, but I know the one that I've been using for years didn't have this. It's nice. Okay, let's look at the bottom. Looks like we got another screen. Oh, look at that, it, it pulls from the bottom. You know, the original ones pull from the side and it has a sock that used to always get, not a sock, but a little stainless steel uh, head, perforated head, and it would get stopped with hops. And a lot of times I would take the spoon and just knock it off the side to get it to circulate. But this works more like a, uh, kind of like a regular mash tun where it draws from the center like spikes. Mash tons, they do the same thing. I like the design of this. It pulls from the center. And if you notice, if you look at the bottom of the basket or the, the all-in-one, you can see the spot welds. Everywhere you see, that's a coil. So it looks like they've, they've made a better coil in here. So there's more surface area for the wart to keep it from, it gets a, a better heating and, it, and there's less chance of scorching. Of course, if you have no circulation, you're gonna burn the wart no matter what. 
but I like that and it fits it fits well looks like the pumps integrated in the bottom uh, that's the plug for the controller let's throw this on there real quick see how easy this is pretty darn easy just take that it's got magnets on it on the back it just snaps in place that's it I like it can't wait to brew on it see what it's like I think you'll like it too um, the there's a lot all you have to do is Google uh, G, G40 and uh, go online there's a lot of retailers that are selling that I think it's gonna be a fantastic product good job guys